Hello everyone and welcome to the section on multiple linear regression. Multiple linear regression simply examines the relationship between more than two variables. If you guys recall in the previous uh, sections, we talked about simple linear regression and it's, it's actually very, um, a very uh, basic concept that simple linear regression just deals with the relationship between two variables, an independent variable x and a dependent variable y. Simply put, I just wanted to obtain a relationship between two variables. I will change one independently. So I'm going to change one, basically put, give it whatever value I want. Okay, that's why we call it independent variable. And then by substituting in a simple equation where I have a couple of coefficients, such as let's say b and m, I can then will be able to predict the value of a dependent variable y which is, and that's why it's called a dependent variable. All right, so in multiple linear regression, instead of having two variables, we're just gonna be dealing with more than two variables, okay? So uh, again, so recall that simple linear regression is a statistical model that examines the linear relationship between two variables only. Here in multiple linear regression, we're gonna be dealing with more than one, uh, with more than two variables. And uh, let's take a look at the equation. So as you guys can see here, the equation is pretty simple. It's simply an extension of the simple linear regression. So if you guys recall, y equals two b node plus b1 times x1, and that's it. That was the equation for the simple linear regression because we had x1 or x and y, and that's it. And our objective was to obtain the values of the coefficients b node and b1. Now, we're just going to take it a little bit further and extend it more. So that's why for multiple linear, linear regression, we're going to have plus b2 times x2. So I have additional um, uh, coefficient to worry about and have another independent variable to worry about as well. And then plus, and then I can add whatever parameters I want. And then that's why I, I, I end up with bn times xn, where n is kind of the upper bound. That's, you know, depends on how many independent variables you are looking at all right okay and that's pretty much the intuition of multiple linear, linear regression um, we're going to learn that you know to implement it in cycle learn it's actually very very simple very straightforward it's pretty much the same as simple linear regression but instead of just putting two variables together we're just going to have more than one more than two variables that's all what it is it's actually pretty straightforward all right so that's all what I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lecture, we're going to start with a, um, with a practical project and we'll see how can we apply multiple linear regression in practice. Best of luck, stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next lecture.